Hey there, fellow curious minds. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving deep into the incredible world of bone formation and repair. Bones are the structural framework of our bodies, supporting us and protecting our vital organs. So, let's unravel the secrets behind how bones are formed and how they mend themselves when injured. If you are as intrigued as we are, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting content. Now, let's get started. Before we delve into the process, let's understand the basic anatomy of bones. Bones are made up of living tissue, minerals, and collagen fibers. They consist of a hard outer layer called cortical bone and a spongy inner layer known as trabecular bone. Bone marrow, found within the cavities of bones, is responsible for producing blood cells. Bone formation scientifically known as ossification, occurs in two main ways, intramembranous and endochondral ossification. Intramembranous ossification is responsible for forming flat bones like the skull and clavicles directly from connective tissue. On the other hand, endochondral ossification forms long and irregular bones, starting with a cartilage template that is gradually replaced by bone tissue. Let's zoom in on endochondral ossification, the process behind the formation of most bones. It involves several distinct stages. Let's zoom in on endochondral ossification, the process behind the formation of most bones. It involves several distinct stages. 1. Cartilage formation, initially, a cartilage model of the bone is formed in the embryo. 2. Primary ossification center, blood vessels invade the cartilage, carrying osteoblasts, bone-building cells, and osteoclasts, bone-resorbing cells. The cartilage begins to calcify, forming the primary ossification center. 3. Bone collar formation, a collar of bone is formed around the diaphysis, shaft, of the cartilage model. 4. Secondary ossification centers. These centers form in the epiphyses, ends, of the bone. 5. Growth plate. A cartilaginous growth plate separates the diaphysis and epiphysis, allowing the bone to lengthen as we grow. 6. Bone remodeling. As we age, the growth plates close, and the bone continues to remodel throughout life. Now, let's talk about bone repair a remarkable process that allows bones to heal after fractures. First step is inflammatory phase. Immediately after a fracture, blood vessels rupture, leading to clot formation. This clot attracts immune cells that clean the area and prepare it for healing. 2. Reparative phase. Osteoblasts begin forming a soft callus made of collagen and cartilage, stabilizing the fracture. 3. Hard callus formation. Osteoblasts produce a hard callus made of woven bone tissue, bridging the fracture gap. 4. Remodeling phase. Over time, the hard callus is gradually replaced by compact bone through bone remodeling, restoring the bone's original structure. Maintaining healthy bones is essential for our overall well-being. Factors like proper nutrition, exercise, and hormone levels play crucial roles. Adequate calcium and vitamin D intake are essential for bone mineralization. Weight-bearing exercises and resistance training stimulate bone remodeling, keeping bones strong. And there you have it, the intricate process of bone formation and repair. Our bodies are truly remarkable in their ability to create, adapt, and heal. If you found this journey through the world of bones as fascinating as we did, give us a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, knowledge is power, so keep exploring, keep learning, and we will catch you in the next video. Stay curious.